Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm gonna be doing my five minute makeup video so if you want to see how I achieve this look stay tuned. <laughs> final makeup look that I achieve after doing my makeup for five minutes. The five minutes doesn't include skin prep which for me it's usually very fast. I only put moisturizer and sunscreen in the mornings and sometimes a color correcting cream. Um, but today I didn't put that since it's already dark outside. I'm not gonna go out at all so I just did my makeup. I tend to do this look before going to work. It's like my everyday look. If I have more time I will add more things. Um, I didn't use that many products. Of course it's only five minutes of time that I had so I was able to use nine products total. I kind of lined up some of the products that I was intending on using here but I started basically by filling out parts of my face that I'm the most concerned about when it comes to looking presentable during the day. Uh, so I always, always, always start by doing my eyebrows. If for whatever reason I just have to rush out of the house in the morning, as long as I have my eyebrows and then I have a, a lipstick in my bag, I'm gonna be okay. I don't mind anything else being bare. The second thing that I try to do usually when I'm doing my makeup on a regular basis is doing some sort of color on my eyes. Usually for my eyelids, I try to use uh, some sort of highlight or shimmery eyeshadow. Um, so just to save time, I try to use my Anastasia highlight that I use for the rest of my face on my eyelids as well. But today, I wanted to put some depth into my eyes instead. So I used the Hula Beauty um, bronzer. I just put it on the top of my eyelids. Then I use this highlight right here to put it on the corner of my eyes. So that's usually how I would start my makeup. I will do my eyebrows, then I will do my eyelids, I would put some foundation if I feel like I need some coverage that day, and I don't put foundation all over my face. I only put it on the areas that I feel like I need the most help with, which tends to be on my cheeks and then my chin. I try hard not to put anything on my nose. I was watching a video by Violet. Um, she's a, a French makeup artist and she is, I believe, the makeup editor of Estee Lauder now. She always talks about, about doing a very effortless look and one of her tips that stuck with me was not putting foundation on the nose. She says that because the nose tends to be like the most forward part of your face and that's what people tend to see first. If you have a lot of product in it, it's very easy for people to see your face as having way too much makeup. So she says as much as possible, try not to cover your nose. So because I don't think I have a lot of this coloration on my nose or a lot of things that I need to cover, I don't put foundation or try not to put too much powder on my nose. That part is not as time consuming as I think it would be 
if I had to put foundation all over my face. I think that would take much longer if I did that. And I try to be very light with how much product I'm putting on my face. Again, because I don't want to look cakey. I, I, or I'm going to put powder anyways, so I think putting way too much foundation beforehand is not going to help my situation of looking a little bit more natural. So the second thing is for me to put a translucent powder. I use the Cavon D translucent powder that I got as a birthday present from Sephora. So I do a very light hand all over my face except for my nose again or I try not to put too much on my nose, it's mainly on the areas where I already put foundation. The next thing I do is usually put some highlighter on my face. I'll put it on my cheeks, my nose, um, my cupid's bow and also on the corners of my eye. Once I'm done with that, for me the second most important thing to do on my face is for sure my lips. So in this occasion, I used the Buxom Lip Liner. I used it as a base color, and I really, really like the color. Um, however, when I was doing my makeup right now, the tip broke, but I didn't want to stop the timer and start all over again. So I just tried to use as much as I could with what was left over from the tip. If you can, I don't know if you can see here, but yeah for sure the tip is broken so i'm gonna try to sharpen it later today and i top off that lip liner with my bobby brown crush lip color in the color cherry um i have it in the box because i lost the lid i really like the color of this i like everything orange however i just don't like the taste of it obviously if you put something on your lips you're gonna be very likely to taste a little bit of it as you're eating or if you uh, lick your lips and unfortunately I really don't like how this tastes it's very chemically and it's just not that good that's my least favorite part but I really like the color so I put up with it the next and last thing actually it's the mascara that I put on I'm um, in this occasion I use the NYX doll eye mascara um, I don't really like this too too much however I'm almost done with it so I'm just waiting for it to you know be completely done so i can switch up to a different mascara if you have any recommendations as to what mascara i should buy please let me know in in the comments below i'm trying to try more uh, drugstore mascaras because i just think mascaras from sephora are way too expensive and they don't last as long so i would just be completely fine with a maybelline or any other drugstore recommendation that you guys might have but that's it, that's all the makeup products that I use. If I had more time, I would have probably tried to use this Fenty Beauty blush. Um, I When I use this product, I usually use it as a blush, but also as a eyeshadow. I really think it's a very beautiful color. Um, it's like a pinkish, um, salmon, orangey type of color, and it's really, really cute. However, if in the morning, like in real life, if I don't have time, I won't put blush. Blush is not one of the things that I have to have. Also, I wanted to try to put a primer beforehand. And sometimes I do put a primer, and this I do put on my nose. It just makes everything a little bit more smooth before you put a foundation but today I just felt like I wasn't gonna have time so I skipped it the other thing that I try to use when I'm doing an everyday look is a little bit more color so if I don't use the Fenty Beauty um, blush to put on my eyelids as well I will use one of these it's this is from the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions I picked up this one because it has most of the colors that I tend to use, which is orange or reddish type of colors plus a very cool yellow. I use the one here, the one here, and the one here. Those are the three colors that I use the most. And I love how tiny it is, so I can always put it on my vanity and it's super easy for me to get ready. Besides that, the other two tools that I use while doing my makeup today was this eyelash um, tool I think I got this from Claire's or a store like that and then this little BH Cosmetics um, sponge I also use a total of four brushes for today's video the powder brush my angle liner for my brows brush inner corner brush and then my eyelid brush Oh, and one last thing that sometimes I do try to put on, especially when it's it's gonna be a very long day, is this Mario 
Badescu, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but it's just a finishing spray that makes your makeup look a little bit more natural if you feel like it's a little bit too heavy handed. I don't use it every day, but I like how it my face feels afterwards. It doesn't feel as cakey and full of product. It just feels like everything is melting together. So I hope that you guys like this video today. It was exactly a five minute video. Let me know if you guys have any other video recommendations and I'll make sure to respond to that. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on my next video.